This is my deck, my sunroom, and lower patio. I built this shortly after I finished my house. And the entrance to it was strictly from the house. But eventually I wanted to have access to my backyard so I had to come up with some way to have access from all the levels to my backyard. I finally came up with a design that was suitable that wouldn't obstruct any of the windows and wouldn't jet out too far from the house and that would be easy to manage and easy to access. I came up with a modified spiral staircase in the sense that it's not a true spiral that it doesn't go 360 degrees all the way around. That has landings and straight sections of stairs going down three levels. The main support for this structure down on the bottom level had to be cut away to accept pole, which was galvanized. So this pole right here is held in with this particular bracket and it's fastened to the main 10 by 10 that goes from the floor, that goes from the ground level here all the way up to the second level here and is tied in to this glue lamb right here. So this goes all the way through the staircase holding everything into place. This pole is attached at the top with this bracket, attached midway with this bracket, and rests down here on the deck's foundation. The concept of a spiral staircase is pretty simple except in the case what I was doing. This is a main support structure for my deck and sunroom and on the other side is a support structure for my spiral staircase. But as it went down there was a point where I had to wrap my staircase around my 10 by 10 and so I had to make a couple of modifications where each of the wedge steps kind of had to bend around the uh, 10 by 10 and so you can kind of see where I had to make some modifications here and then down here. So I had to kind of make a couple of special uh, stairs that would allow it to kind of wrap around this 10 by 10 and away from its pivot point. So in my case, what I had to do as a, my stairway kind of wrapped around my main support structure right here I had to add and build additional brackets that would kind of come around my main support structure to hold my last few little wedges. This one right here, number 14, is really not a step, but this is actually the landing to my sunroom. So basically, you come down here, uh, four straight stairs, and then it would spiral around down to the first landing where my sunroom would be. The second set of stairs would then go from where my sunroom was and then would go down, spiral, spiral around, and then come out to a straight section down here on the ground. This 14th uh, step was eliminated. I didn't need it after all. The whole point about making a spiral staircase is basically figuring out the height of each story and then dividing it by your uh, rise of each step and then you know staying within code so for example if the level of your house is going to be eight feet and you're going to have 14 steps going all the way around and each uh, rise of your step would be 6.8 inches but you also have to make sure that the rise of each step is going to be enough so as you come around you're not going to bonk your head on the first step as you go underneath it so the rise has to be su sufficient to give head clearance. So it's kind of a give and take when you uh, make your steps. And there are certain building codes that a, a spiral staircase has to be to make allowance 
for that, and you'll have to check with the local building codes on what those uh, amounts are going to be. So that was a little bit of an interesting chore to do in that case. If this was a true spiral staircase wrapping around its own pivot point, I wouldn't have to do that. The way this was engineered starts with a Schedule 80 3 inch pipe. This has an outside diameter of 3.5 and, and an inside diameter 2.9 with a wall of 0.3. So once, it's, once this is galvanized with a few mils of zinc, it turns out to be really good. And it fits in perfectly with this pipe, which is a three and a half inch scheduled 40. So this has an outside diameter of four inches and an inside diameter of a 3.59 with a 0.22 wall. So once this is galvanized, there's a really nice snug fit to allow the stair, the stair pieces to slide over this main support with very little wobble. So that's the basic support structure for this spiral staircase. Each stairway section is constructed out of one and a half by one and a half by eighth inch angle that was powder coated, but first with a zinc primer and then with a white powder coat. The two angles were laid on top of each other and a weld was just run along this edge. Once welded, the two ends were welded directly to the three and a half inch pipe for support. A triangle support made out of quarter inch steel was then welded to the underside of the two angles and then welded to the side of the pipe. On the opposite end, an angle was laid underneath the two and welded here and welded there. Liquid nails was then run on all the flanges, allowing two by, two by sixes to be laid down in place. Half inch by half inch tubes were welded on the ends on four inch centers, making the center openings about three and a half inches, which would satisfy code. These were then ran up to another one and a half by one and a half inch angle that was served to be the handrail. One inch by eighth inch flat bar was then welded from one section to the next section with a three eighths hole in the center, allowing connection between each section with a hole in the center. So this went from one section to another section, to another section, to another section, bolting each handrail together. Where these railings were square tube, the last railing was solid steel, solid steel to allow for strength to have another tab welded here that would allow it to be connected to this tread just above it with a half inch bolt. So this tread would be bolted to this tread, this tread would be bolted to that tread, and this tread to that tread, and so on and so forth. A section of the deck wood was routed out to make room for the, the head of the bolt on the other side of the nut. Because I was using a simple chop saw to cut my railing pieces, I wasn't able to make any compound uh, miter cuts. So there's a, an opening, like a V-shaped opening, at each intersection. That didn't really bother me because I was able to cover that up when I put the wood railing on top. The actual railing is wood that was compound cut on a miter saw, sanded and originally stained. After the stain wore off, it was actually painted. Wood railing is held in with screws here and here per section. My original design did not call for toe kick, but because I had small children living with me at the time, I didn't want any gap here where they could perhaps fall through or crawl through. So covering these up was pretty simple. It just took a two by eight that was fastened from the top down with a couple of screws and also to be fastened from behind with a couple of screws. The whole concept of a spiral staircase is to be self-supporting, but I do have a couple of added supports. 
to help support this straight section right here, I do have one support going down into the ground. The front of the stairs is also anchored into concrete. The upper straight section of stairs is bolted into the wall of the house. Each rectangular stair piece is supported by two parallel quarter inch by two inch flat bars. The spiral staircase is about eight years old and is showing some corrosion. These are sections where the powder was not able to bond well to the surface of the metal. If I was able to do this over again, I would have had this hot dip galvanized and then powder coated. The stair treads were made out of two by eight dimensional lumber that were then stained with golden oak stain and varathane. Unfortunately, I did not know that varathane is not good for outdoors. If I would have used spar varathane, that would have been much better. But because I used the wrong varathane, the uh, finish did not last very long and with the rain and the sprinklers, it kind of destroyed the finish over time. So I had to find a paint that came somewhat close to the golden oak color. And that's what is painted on there now, which still looks pretty good. And each year I find myself gluing down boards that become loose from the previous winter, which is not a big problem. Uh, because the original finish uh, allowed some of my boards to warp and eventually crack, uh, because they were kind of bowed up, I just kind of broke the bow where they were, which created this crack here, but then it, it allowed them to lie flat. So I just basically glued them back into place so I'd have a flat stairway, but things seemed to work out pretty good. So you can see like right here where this is bowed up because of all the sprinkler water that has hit this. So eventually I'll just break this down causing a crack to go down the center so this will lay flat. Now I did make a couple of mistakes here and there. If you notice right here, I have one stairway that's flush with one of my wedge stairways. So I'm, I can't remember exactly what went wrong here, but because this looks more like a landing rather than a, a step, I had to compensate for the missing uh, distance that would have been here as a step and I had to add these little rings right here and right here on each of my uh, stair pieces to compensate for the missing stair that was up here. I hope you understand that. And I am not a professional welder, but I do work with good welders. And I think I did a pretty good job on most of my welds. I used the MIG welder with, uh, I think it was 45 wire. And I think I did a pretty good job doing this. One of the things I did do is I had an extra section of pipe that I actually welded to my welding table. And as I welded each of these sections into place, I actually stacked them on top of each other to make sure that everything would fit one inside the other. So when it came time to actually assembling this stairway, I knew that everything would fit because uh, they fit just fine on my welding table, two at a time. So this was an interesting project. It definitely fulfilled the need I needed to have access off my deck in my sunroom. And I use this several times a day. If you're interested in making a spiral staircase, I think you should go for it. I'll add to this video what engineered drawings I still have left. I don't know what happened to all of them, but I do have a couple of drawings still. But I'm pretty happy how this project turned out. I do have to paint it about every other year, but that seems to be okay. But I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it maybe have given you some ideas on what to do. If you want to make a spiral staircase, like I said, this is not quite a spiral staircase. It had some modifications in here, but I hope it might give you some inspiration on making your own staircase. But anyway, thank you for your time. Please subscribe and I'll send you another video soon.